used to. All right, thank you guys for hopping on tonight's team call. Today is January 22nd, and tonight I want to talk to you guys about Team Cup. Now, this is very, this is a topic that I wanted to spend an entire team call on because I think it's very crucial for your business. And, you know, on the leader Zoom today, <clears throat> if y'all didn't know, now you're going to know, we have a leader's Zoom for Emeralds and above. So if you are a part of this team, which y'all are because you're, whether you're adopted or you're handpicked, you're a part of this team. So if you're Emerald and above, on Tuesdays at 11 p.m. Pacific time, we get on a leader's Zoom. And not only do we do brainstorming for business, but we do relationship building because we really want to unify this team and we really want to um, have a st strength, strength within the community and, you know, like feel like family. So we're really focusing on that. And we just started today. I'm really excited about it. So if you're not Emerald yet and you really want to be a part of this team Zoom or leader Zoom, then I suggest you go Emerald so you can. I have my child dancing and he's very distracting. He's going like this, like some... Okay, so I love you. Best mates. Best mates? I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. Anyways, so tonight's topic is about the team cup. Now, I want you guys to bear with me. Some of you guys are going to be like, okay, I'm a discount coach, so peace out. This has nothing to do with me. Stay on because it has everything to do with you, whether you're a new coach or a seasoned coach or a discount coach or a working coach. It has everything to do with you. So first and foremost, for those of you who don't know what Team Cup is, I'm not going to go explain it like uh, in um, analytic, fo analytic form. Does that even make sense? I'm not going to explain the nitty gritty details. I'm just going to give you the straight up bullet points about what it is because there is an FAQ for that and you can find it. If you have fingers and you have a keyboard, you can find it. So what is Team Cup? Well, it's a cup. It's a cup. No, it is a challenge, a contest, if you will. For five, you team up with four other coaches. So groups of five where you help, um, you help change lives is what it is. Um, it starts February 1st. You work together to help change lives. You run groups together. You collaborate. You brainstorm. You learn and you grow together. You earn prizes. It's fun to do. So one thing that I, I always thought in my head, I'm like, I have like this much competitive nature in me just this much unless we're playing pool or scrabble if you if we play pool or scrabble like my competitive nature goes up like right here but if i'm like in a team cup or part of something like a contest or something my competitiveness is like this much but the thing that i love about team cup is the community aspect of it how you have that extra support that extra accountability i love 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 it it happens once or twice a year they do um, another team cup ish where it's just two people. It's like a team of two anyways. So how you, how do you earn points? How do you earn? How do you win the contest? If you will, for you get one point for every success club point you earn. So every challenge pack, every, um, Shakeology on home direct, every performance line on home direct, all that jazz, you get two points. So you get two points for, um, team cup points. And then you also for if you rank advanced or if any of your personally sponsored coaches rank advanced, you get three points. Bazanga, right? I just wish like I had like a thing that popped up, bazanga or boing or woo. I don't know. Like I need like a keyboard with, I don't know. Anyways. So that's it. That's all I'm telling you about Teacup. It's freaking fun. Just do it. Why? Why, why is this so bit? Why is this so important? First off, community is everything. We know community is everything. We're a part of challenge groups. We're a part of this team. We're a part of um, Facebook groups. We're a part of, you know, chat threads. We're a part of friendships that we never thought. <laughs> and there's Maxie. Sorry about that. Shh. Hey. Max. Maxie. Oh my gosh, my dog is going crazy. Um, she's in the kennel right now because otherwise she'll eat my son's dinner. Anyways, so we know that community is everything. We've all tried to reach for a goal by ourselves, right? Did we do a good job reaching that goal by ourselves? No. Why? Because 
there's strength in numbers. We've heard that ever since we were little, right? You go on a field trip and you have a, a field trip buddy, right? Because there's strength in numbers. One of you is not going to get lost. If you, one of you gets lost, you both are going to get lost. But then if you don't get lost, you help guide each other. You help support each other. You help guide each other along the field trip path or whatever. So there's something about strength in numbers. We've learned it from a young age and it's no different now. We know that when we need someone, we lean in on the team call. Are we leaning on the team? If we need someone, we lean in on our challenge groups. If we need someone, we lean in on our children or significant others, our best friends. We need someone, right? So the great thing about this team cup, you have four other individuals that come from all different walks of life. Maybe they're a part of your downline or not. It doesn't even matter. But you're, you're, you're joined with four other people that have the, the, the passion to help change lives, right? Oh my gosh, Cassie, I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's like, I hear another dog barking. I hear it. Um, so the great thing about this is that we're in it together. Now I'm gonna talk to you guys in a, for a moment. So this is great for brand new coaches or seasoned coaches. Now stick with me while I explain this. So why is it great for new coaches? It helps create beneficial habits. You know, when you come, I don't know about you guys, but when I became a beach body coach, oh my gosh, in five days, it will be seven years, you guys, five days, I'll be a coach for seven years. This blows my mind. Well, seven years ago, when cavemen walked the earth, they did not have coach training. They did not have new coach training. They didn't, we didn't have the misfit new, new coach training academy. There was none of that. If you wanted to learn how to be a coach, either your mentor had to train you or you needed to figure that shit out by yourself. Well, guess what? I figured shit out by myself. I learned the hard way. In my memories right now, I have like turbo fire on sale, $15. Like I have, oh my gosh. Let me tell you, I learned the hard way. I'm never sharing any of that stuff. I have help wanted signs. Help wanted, earn 500 to $700 a month. Oh my gosh, it was awful. I mean, I recruited some badass coaches from it, but needless to say, it was, I learned the hard way, but I also learned how to do things the good way. But also what I've, what I learned or what I taught myself is to develop these habits because let's be real here. We are, uh Oh, Dana just saw something that was completely shocking apparently because her mouth just dropped wide open. I know it wasn't anything that I said. That was my date. I was like, when did I start? Was it the 29th? It was actually today, three years ago. Oh, no, oh woohoo! that's awesome. She was like, I don't know what happened. Um, that's awesome, Dana. Okay. So we know that this business, it's easy to do and it's easy not to do. But the thing of it is, is we are the CEO of our business. You guys have heard this time and time again. We are the CEO of our business. So we have to be self-disciplined, right? If we want to progress in our health and fitness, we need to be disciplined. If we want to progress in our business, we need to be self-disciplined. So whether you're a full-time student, a full-time employee, maybe you do a little bit of both, maybe you're a full-time coach, whatever it is, you need to be self-disciplined to where you schedule your work hours and your workout hours. We talked about this last week's team call or the week before, just so you could make it a priority and work towards the goals that you want to achieve, right? We, we don't have anyone that we need to answer to. Like, let's be real here. You guys don't have to check in with me and be like, okay, Vicki, well, this is what I did today. Some of you, yes, you like to do that for extra accountability, but you don't have to because I'm not gonna be like, well, you didn't do it today, so don't let the good Lord hit you, where, whatever that thing is. Don't let the door hit you on the way out kind of thing. You know, like, I'm not gonna sit there and fire you. I'm not gonna sit there and say, three strikes and you're out kind of thing. We need to be self-disciplined in ourselves. I know a lot of you are like, okay, well, I've signed up for a team cut before and I've disappointed my team. First off, you've never disappointed anyone else because it's your business. It is your business, not anyone else's business. So when you're a part of a team cut, you're showing up for yourself, but you're also showing up for the team because you're working together to help change lives. Do you guys get it? It's all about changing lives. I know that success club points and the rank advancement points and stuff are there but I want you to think of it as changing lives. So if you have a team of five and each of you strive to change three lives together, what's five times five times three, 15? 
No. Yeah, Why? <laughs> Why is this so hard for me? I know. Thank God you do not have to be good at math to be a beach body coach, to be successful at beach body coaching. Thank God for that. Or IT. Uh, yeah. Anyways, moving on. So as a new coach, it helps you create those beneficial habits so you can be productive and progress your business moving forward even after the team cup. Okay. So when you're trying to be a new coach by yourself, maybe you have support from your upline, maybe you have support from a mentor or whatever, it's hard to to establish those habits and keep it going by yourself. If you have that sponsor coach or that mentor coach, it helps. But when you have a group of people helping you along the way, think about it as four or five times more helpful. Um, it's extra support and accountability because you guys also can run groups together. You can run free groups together. You can do whatever you want together as a team. It's not just, you know, you signing up as a coach and getting thrown into the pack of wolves. Like, okay, take it over. Like, this is, this is what you need to do. No, you're a part of a team. You're a part of a group. You're a part of a little bitty family where you can run groups together. You can run free groups together. You can do sneak peeks. Whatever it is, you can collaborate together. You can brainstorm. You have this little pod of our handpicked family, of part of our family that you can build together. And the great thing is, because this is happening at the beginning of the year, it also helps you build momentum to keep throughout the year, right? So if you start off now and you collaborate with your team and then you build these habits, you're working Monday through Friday, you know, five days a week, you're still working on your journey. At the end of February, you're like, okay, I'm very proud because I helped change three lives, four lives, five lives. I've added two coaches to my, name, to my team and they're helping change lives. And then you come into March and you're like, okay, well, guess what? I still have these habits. Like these habits are ingrained. I'm going to keep moving forward. And maybe you're going to still keep, keep in that little pot of your, your group because you guys work so well together. Maybe you want to run more groups together, or maybe you want to pair off and become success partners, whatever it is. It's a great opportunity for new coaches. Now, seasoned coaches, team cup is a great opportunity for you to reestablish those habits because I don't know about you, just like I was saying about being self-disciplined, when you are a seasoned coach, we're always like, you know, I know what it, I know what it takes to hit success club. I know what it takes to rank advance. I know what it takes to do this. Oh, but I'll do it later. Oh, you know, when next Monday comes around, I'll do, oh, well, you know, when this happens, I'll do it. I'll do it. This is what happens. You know, maybe new coaches do the same thing. But I have found myself where something comes up and I'm like, okay, well, I need to take care of this. Oh, look at all those dishes in the sink. I know I should be working my business right now, but those dishes are just gawking at me. Well, those dishes aren't going to help change lives. I'm sorry. Yes, it's going to keep your kitchen clean, but you can clean your dishes later on in the day. Okay. Um, it helps you help each other. What? What did I say? Help each other change. Oh yeah. As a seasoned coach, you also have the extra support and accountability. You also help with, you also get back on track easier because you have a group of people leaning on each other for that support, for that accountability. So you think in your mind, like we all know what it's like to be a part of a challenge group, right? You push harder. When, when you get on a live power hour, I don't know about you guys, but when I get on a live power hour, I work harder. Like I'm more focused because I'm like, okay, well, this, this is what's going down. These are the people that like, we may not even be talking what we're doing, but because you have that accountability of like people kind of like people watching you, you push harder. Just like if you ever did a live workout with Chris Downing or Shanti or anybody, when that man walks right by you, you know, your burpees are on point. Right. But the second they walk away, you're like, Oh man, I'm just going to get on my knees. I'm like, but you know, like, let's be real here, guys. Like, or when the camera's on you or like, I always, little tip, little life hack here. When I do my morning workouts, I always record my last set because I know that's when I'm feeling fatigued and I feel like I'm dying. And I know if I'm going to share that video, I'm like, oh girl, you better keep going. Because my son, my son called me out, mom, why do you always stop at three? When they're like five, four, three, two, one. I always, I always stopped at three, but now I'm like, I, I have to record that. Cause I'm like three, two, you know? So when, when someone's 
focusing on you, your team cup, your challenge group, your social media presence, whatever it is, you push harder, right? So whether you're a new coach or a seasoned coach, this is a great opportunity to help progress in your business. All right. One big thing that I think is a huge misconception being a team, being in a team cup, you do not have to be a leader to lead a team. And what I mean by that, it doesn't matter if you signed up yesterday in your mind, you can still be a leader. It doesn't matter if you have a hundred coaches underneath you, you may not feel like a leader. A leader is what you feel in your heart. A leader is someone that wants, that is selflessly guiding other people, right? I mean, if, if you want to be real here, as a Beachbody coach, you are a leader because you're on your own journey and you're helping other people along theirs. So basically, you are a leader. So don't let your mindset detour you from leading a team or putting a team together because what you can do, if you don't have the confidence in you or you're not comfortable leading a team by yourself, guess what? You can find a mentor. You can lean in on your upline. They will help you. We are not Unstoppable Misfits, Misfit Republic. We are not segregating into groups of five, you guys. I want you to understand that. We're not like, oh, you're not on my team. Peace out. I can't talk to you for February. Like, we're not doing that. We can lean in together as a big team and help each other. Okay. I don't know what you just showed me, Tracy. I don't know what that was. Where'd she go? She just, what is that? Are you there? Oh, I was trying to read my expiration date on my card. <laughs> oh, I was just, I was using the light. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, what, what is that? I don't know what she's doing. Okay. So okay. sorry. It's okay. Lean in, ask your upline, ask your mentor, ask me, ask anybody to help. And the great thing is there's that beautiful success club tracker now, guys, that is shared in the doc section of this team page where you know, look at Dana, Dana's, yep, there it is, where you can print it out and you can use it to help guide your team, to help guide yourself. Um, realize that we're in this together as a big team. So even if you're a group of five, even if there's no other unstoppable misfits, even if you have to go into like the Beachbody Champions page and ask to team up with someone and they're nobody you know, well, great. That's awesome because you can learn from other people. You can you develop other relationships. Maybe you'll find someone that's close to you and you guys could actually work together or work out together or whatever. There's all these great opportunities. Um, one thing that I suggest and which is going to be very helpful for you is to create a Facebook group thread. When you create your group, because I, and here's the thing on the leader zoom, I was asking, and I'm going to be real with you guys. I was asking, how can we rally our team together for everyone to want to be on this, to want to be a part of this? And Jamie Cole, my girl, she's working tonight, so she's not on right now, but she said they have to want it. Like you cannot, and Terry was on there, Dana was on there, like you cannot force someone to be on a team cup. Like I can't, as much as I want each and every one of you to be a part of a team cup, I can't want it for you. Just like I can't want you to earn a hundred dollars a week or a thousand dollars a month. I can't want that for you. Even if you're struggling in debt, even if you can't see straight, even if you're, I can't, I can't want your goals for you. Like you have to want them for yourself. So the thing is you have to revisit your why and think about why would this opportunity or what would this opportunity do to help me get to my goals, to my desires, to my dreams? How could this opportunity help? What is my why? Maybe I need to rewrite, re write my why revisit your why jasmine don't be making fun of me i i i got it okay so in my facebook thread here's the thing you want to keep it business oriented no bs you guys no bs no excuses i got that from my boy terry cuz he said he has one requirement for his group no excuses so no bs don't come in there and be like, oh, well, my dog ate my computer, so I couldn't invite today. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. No negativity. 
Don't say, you know, blah, blah. No. Negativity drains other people and it brings them down. And if you've ever been a part of a group thread or a chat thread, one person says something negative and guess what happens? Everybody's chiming in on that negative and it brings the entire energy down. Use that thread for daily accountability. Share what's working for you. Share small successes like my group, I have a few girls <clears throat> on, my, on my group and on the team call right now. And I said, I want to do like ring the bell. Like every time we do something like a small success or something that we feel proud about, or, you know, maybe we invited someone that was like, you know, intimidating to us or whatever. We go in and we're like, Hey, you know what? This is what I did. And then everyone's like, you know, gives you spirit fingers or like gives you a high five or whatever. Like it just makes you feel good because let's be honest, the more recognition we get, the better we want to do. Right right? You, you guys get that. Like the more that you're, you're praised, the better you feel and the more you give. So those are my little tidbits on how to run or how to have, um, that going on. And then if you ever get distracted with Facebook notifications, there is a mute option on your Facebook thread. So you can, purposely go into that thread when it's your business time and be like, okay, da, 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 da. that's another reason why no BS, no ne negativity, because then the important stuff will get lost in the sauce. Okay. I want you to understand this helps you and your business. Like I said before, it helps you create those habits, helps you build momentum, gives you extra support and accountability. And it's fun. There's prizes. You guys, Yes, I want the windbreaker. It's tier three. Yes, I want to go to corporate. Yes, I want to work out with whoever is going to do the workout. But I want that damn cutting board. I want that wood butcher block cutting board. I want that cutting board. Yes, it's only tier one. I want that freaking cutting board. Like, I'm so excited about a damn cutting board. Like, it's stupid. Okay, so I want that cutting board. I'm not competitive, but I'm going to save some lives for a damn cutting board. I will tell you what. Now, at the beginning of this call, I talked about, I talked about um, why this is good for discount coaches and for working coaches. For discount coaches, yes, I understand we have some amazing discount coaches on our team that do a great job rocking their own, their own journey. But wouldn't you want to get your Shakeology or your performance line paid for? I'm not saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If you help three people, if you change three people's lives, just like your life is changing right now, you could get your Shaco or your performance line or your beach bars or, or, or paid for. Working coaches, same freaking thing. What my son is over there like doing, like, am I talking with my hands too much? Do you want to come over here and host the team call? I'm sure they'd love yeah. to see you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, working coaches, same exact thing. And you can also earn more of an income. Um, you help three people, your stuff's paid for. You help four people, your stuff is paid for. You get, you start profiting. And are you coming over here? Yeah. Are you going to say something? Mm -hmm. What are you going to say? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. Gay Henry, everybody. This helps... Oh, see, you would like to get your stuff paid for. Who, I mean, you have a chance to earn a Robux Mizzier like this. A uh, workout one, I, I guess, but apparently, Gage is giving away his workout Roblox minifigure to, to who? Anyone. To anyone, but they have to be on a team cup, right? Yes. And he'll even autograph it just for you. No. Oh, no. No, he won't. Okay. Thank you. I love you. All right. And the last... And there's only one of them. And there's only one. It's very authentic. Oh, and I just ripped off her hair. That's not good. Sorry. Um, and last but not least, I want you to gu I guys... Have, I have one more, but I'm not going to get down with it. This, this is my second one I got, and it's a duplicate, so I have one, one extra. So... One, if one of you guys are in a team comp, you will have a chance to get it. That's right. Do you think that everyone should be on a team cup so they can help change lives? Yes. And help people feel good in their own bodies mm -hmm. and get healthy? 
yes. And if 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 there's more than one of you in the team comp, your name will put, put, be put in the hat and whatever name is drawn out, um, that one will be picked to ha get this. Perfect. High five to that. Thanks, bud. And I'm serious about it. And he's serious. I'm literally serious. You're literally serious? Literally? All right. Um, Terry said you should do a Fortnite dance for every success club point that we earn. Okay. How much have we earned? Well, it starts in February. Oh. Oh, he's doing the floss right now. He's doing the floss. You can only see half of it. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So <laughs> the last thing to remember, you guys, I know this is kind of a competition or a contest, but here's the thing. I don't want you to focus on the success club points or the rank advancement itself. I want you to focus on lives changed, lives saved, because we all know what this opportunity, meaning Beachbody, the community, the team can give to other people. Isn't he the best? Isn't he the best? But we know that we have an opportunity to help change lives, to help save lives, to get people out of depression, to get people out of, you know, off of diabetic medication, blood pressure medication, to help them lose weight, to help them be role models to their children, you know, all, all this stuff, to get them out of debt. Like Beachbody, T Unstoppable Misfits, Misfit Republic, we have so much to offer. We have so much to give. So let's get out there and help change lives together. I, if, if joining a team and talking to people that you wouldn't normally talk to is out of your comfort zone, be brave and step out of your comfort zone. Yes, I said a cutting board. That's, that's the first tier. I want to win that damn cutting board. It's a 21-day fix cutting board. But get out of your comfort zone. And the best way to do it is with a group of people that also had a passion for helping other people feel good about themselves. So after this call, whether you're watching it live or the recording, I hope you reach out in the big team page. If you're not on a team and say, you know what? I want to be on a team who wants to team up with me. You don't need to be a leader. You can co-lead together. You can have a group of five leaders together. And if you're an introvert, you can team up with other introverts or you can team up with a big extrovert and they can lead it together. But you know what? Honestly, it's uncomfortable for everybody at first. But just like anything else, just like stepping on that Transform 20 step the first time you didn't, you weren't co coordinated the first time you got on that bad boy, were you? But the more you get on that step, the more coordinated you get, the more comfortable you'll get. And the great thing is we have a huge support system. We have great positive people that you can lean on and join up with. So why not? Why not? So that was what I wanted to talk to you guys about tonight, the importance of Team Cup, why everyone should be a part of one, but you have to want to do it. You have to want to do it. All right? All right. Does anyone have any questions regarding Team Cup before we take a selfie? Okay. Who's on a Team Cup already? Raise your hand. Okay. <clears throat> Who's going to be on a Team Cup? Yes. Yes. All right. Did my job. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching the recording. We're going to go over and take a selfie now.